Hello and welcome to Gate of Theories. Today we're going to be delving into a theory about the controversial hit show Insatiable on Netflix. But before we go any further, if you haven't seen any of season 2, then now's your time to leave this video, open another tab and go and watch the season and then watch this video after you've watched the entire season. Okay, enough of the spoiler warnings, let's get on with the video. But before we do, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button for more awesome TV and film content every week from Big Mouth to Mamma Mia, so you're going to want to click it. Anyway, without further ado, let's get straight on with the video. Okay, so to start off today, it is revealed at the end of season 2 that Regina has been the pageant serial killer all this time, and she was doing it to get back at Bob. In the season finale, she even manages to frame Bob so he gets put in jail. In the final scene, when Bob is talking to Paddy, he seems super annoyed that he's in jail for nothing and Paddy is free, even though he knows she has killed several people but is walking free. Will he take revenge in the next season? Who knows. However, what if I told you he actually was the pageant killer? I know, difficult one to take in. How can he be? There is no evidence. Well, let's take you back to the start and go from there. In the very first episode and frequent episodes since, we hear Bob and Paddy narrate the story and why they are important to each other as stories. Now, we know that Paddy becomes a killer and reveals she has a hunger for it at the end of season two. We also see Bob help Paddy cover up her murders. So at worst, he should still be in jail for covering up a crime. However, there is a re no reason to say he didn't go on to kill people. Now, why do I think he has? Firstly, he wants to help Paddy so he can finally achieve his dream of coaching, someone to win Miss America, and by killing the competition, that kind of helps. Secondly, he wants to get back at Regina, for obvious reasons. Okay, so we have a reason why he could do it. How is it feasible though? Because there is no evidence showing it in the show. Well, as I said before, he and Paddy narrate it. Therefore, the show is done from their perspective or their point of view. Therefore, we are seeing the world as they see it, as in Bob's head. That would mean it could be different from the story we're shown. But why is Regina shown to frame him? Well, he was trying to get revenge on Regina, therefore he'd have to get close to her. I believe by getting close, she actually caught him in the act and therefore Bob was not framed, but was caught. But in his mind or the point of view we see in the show, he blames her for him being in jail. That's why he's framed essentially by her. That's it for this theory. Do you think it's plausible or not? What theories do you guys have about Insatiable? Tell us down below in the field section or comment section for you newbies. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and share it on social media. As I said at the start, if you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button for more TV and film videos every week. If you're already subscribed and awesome like that, thank you so much for that. Make sure you also have that bell button click so you never miss a new video. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. We will see you on Tuesday with another video. Until then, have a good week. See you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Over your body and over your soul We're gonna take back